Hey guys, this is Bob Ross and welcome to Office Hours with Bob Ross, episode number 29. Alright guys, on today's episode what I'd like to discuss is practicing and burnout and this is something that I've addressed before because it's a question that I've been asked about before but I'm going to approach it in maybe a little bit different way than what I did before. In the past when I was asked about burnout it had to do with practicing and finding maybe that hitting a wall uh, was creating such an amount of stress that maybe you get burnt out from it or maybe your practice routine is uh, kind of on autopilot and you're not really getting into your plane so much or maybe you're just frustrated with your plane. So today what I want to discuss is a form of burnout maybe more associated with not being able to practice to the extent that you want. And that, that sounds a little bit off from what you would think about when you think about burnout and you know, I, I didn't really consider it like that until I was listening to another podcast the other day uh, called The Guitar Hour and it was, it was interesting to hear them talk about you know this this concept of when you don't have the amount of time it's, it's almost in some regard its own form of a burnout and I can really relate to that, and to to stay, take a step back, if if you relate it to something that, or put it in terms of what could cause that. So if you are getting frustrated with not having enough practice time, maybe that comes from your personal commitments, career uh, commitments. This particular podcast, um, I believe it was uh, guitar player Tom Quell was mentioning um, having um, his his child being around, and it makes it difficult when you have that obligation. And I can totally relate to that. I have two kids of my own, and practice, you know, over the last five years has not been where I would like it to be. And therefore, there's kind of this burnout in the sense of being frustrated with myself. So, so more of a, an internal struggle and, and a feeling of not being able to put out the amount of progress or make the amount of progress that I want to make. And it, it can definitely make you feel these, I guess it depends on if you allow it to or not, but it, it's kind of hard to, to it's kind of hard to control sometimes because you feel like you want to put in the time but you don't want to take away from your personal time um, or you have certain obligations that you need to, to fulfill as a parent or even if you're not a parent and it's a career based thing or any other thing that you have going on in your life. Maybe you know your your personal commitment to to a spouse or, or you know a relationship so there's there's multiple facets that you could deal with, but it's it's something that it it can make you feel like there's it's very difficult to make the progress and therefore it translates over to you know when we're you know prior to all that's happening now you know with gigging you know what's going to happen when I try to bring the best that I can to the performance and and you kind of feel a, a lack so there's a lot of things that I want to work on a lot of things that I want to practice a lot of things I want to do and it it makes it difficult to fit all those things in therefore the burnout of of constantly thinking about it wanting to be able to do it and and at times you you have to consider where you are and what it is that you need to spend your time doing in order to fulfill your obligations, your commitments. So it's it's just part of of you know everyday life. It's part of living life. You know, it's not always about music. You know, there there's times I you know I think back about being a teenager, and I wish I could you know go back and I think about all the hours you know just being able to sit down with the guitar uninterrupted. 
sit down, play, make music, and just explore. And as you go on, your time has to, you, you can do that, but your time has to be focused on exactly what it is that you're trying to do as well. Um, and for some of you, that may be a, a, you're in a season of exploration and you're playing. So maybe it's not this, you know, um, hardcore practice routine of working on, you know, your scales, arpeggios, your chords, you know, you're working on just exploring in general to figure out, you know, who you are as a player and incorporating all these things in the moment. So um, this also relates back to, you know, the shifting, you know, having a schedule, you know, when, when you, again, when you take on certain commitments or if you become a parent, it it does make it difficult to set up a practice routine and and keep on that schedule. To some extent, I can do that, but then again, at, at any moment, if one of my kids needs me to do something, or they're asking for something, or they're like, "Hey, you want to go hang out?" You know, like and and uh, play with me, and and you know, you you want to be there. So you you could spend the time to set up your routines, your schedule. And then find that in in a very quick moment it can fall apart, but you have to go with that. And there there's a lot of talk of keeping the practice consistent. And I and I've told my students that over the years. And I think that in in some respect, depending on where you are, your age, you know what's going on in your life, you can keep to that. Uh, but you, as time goes on, maybe you are more lenient about your scheduling and how you're going to map out your time and best use your time. So it's it's a difficult thing, and again, it comes back to this concept of a, you know, the the terminology of burnout. It is burnout in the sense of, I guess, almost being burnout, you know, with yourself and and feeling like you you are having the opposite effect where you're not overdoing something but you're you're feeling like you're underdoing underperforming and it causes a lot of chaos this internal uh chaos inside where it feels like you need to be somewhere and you're just not there so the thing to think about you know to remedy that maybe to think about the process itself and this goes back, if, if you guys haven't checked out, there's a couple books uh, or so by a uh, trombone player, jazz, jazz educator named Hal Crook that mentions the process is the thing. And he's not the only one that said it, it's said over and over again. So consider that, you know, every day, hopefully you're making steps and progressing, you're making steps towards the things that you're, you're, you're actually trying to accomplish in your playing. But keep in mind that the fun is also in that journey in the process. Don't let any one moment completely take over, especially in a moment of chaos or, or a time of feeling like you're not performing at your best or, or getting in the amount of time that you want. Rather focus on the overall bigger picture, where you're heading, and be generous with your yourself and, and understanding that at certain times in your life, there's certain commitments that you are going to have to put forth, and that you know is going to it's it's going to exceed you know the fact that hey you you play guitar, you're a musician, yeah that's that's something that you do, but you have to also understand that you're not just a musician, not just a guitar player or any other instrument, um, you know that's not your real identity that's part of your makeup and part of what you do so you have to detach from that a bit and allow for the ups and downs as the process continues on throughout your life all right guys i want to thank you for watching please make sure that you subscribe to the podcast leave a comment don't forget i have lessons and courses on musiclessons.com so check those out and i hope you can join me next time on office hours with bob ross